We know the lunar module's descent stages all stayed on the moon because they were the launch pads from which the ascent stages left the moon's surface. But what happened to those ascent stages? That's what we're talking about today on Vintage Space. So super quick recap, the lunar module had two stages, the descent stage and the ascent stage. The descent stage was the one with the large engine that the astronauts used to actually land on the moon's surface. But the descent stage was never designed to actually leave the moon. It was the launch pad from which the smaller ascent stage would actually launch from and lift up from the moon's surface. It was only this part of the lunar module that met the command module waiting for it in orbit. So what happened to this kind of weird, awkwardly legless looking bit of lunar module after its mission was over? The lunar module's consumables were done by the time the lunar mission was over, and so there was no need and no reason to bring this spacecraft back to Earth. And also, it would just be dead weight, what was the point of that? So NASA got rid of the lunar module ascent stage after the astronauts of course transferred all of their moon rocks, gear, and themselves back into the command module. But the ascent stage's missions weren't entirely finished when they were jettisoned from the command module before it left the moon's orbit to go back to Earth. Apollo 10 was the first mission to take a lunar module to the moon. Commander Tom Stafford and lunar module pilot Gene Cernan took the spacecraft within 60 miles of the moon's surface and then rendezvoused with the command module in orbit. It was basically a dress rehearsal for a lunar landing, but without the actual landing bit. Once the whole crew was reunited and back in the command module, they jettisoned the lunar module's ascent stage into a solar orbit before they left the moon and returned to Earth. Snoopy is still orbiting the sun today, with, as the crew likes to point out, enough biological material on board in the form of their waste to create a whole new Apollo 10 crew. Kinda gross. On later Apollo missions, the lunar module's ascent stage played a far more important role. It became pivotal as part of these seismic experiments done on the moon's surface. Science was obviously a huge part of the Apollo program, and every mission that landed on the surface brought with it a host of science experiments. Apollos 12 through 17 brought with them an ALSEP, the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiment Package. Apollo 11 brought an early version called the Early Apollo Surface Experiment Package. Each one of these experiment packages included some kind of seismic experiment, something that would measure vibrations traveling through the moon once it was impacted by a meteorite, or say, a spacecraft. The idea was that measuring the vibrations vibrations going through the moon after an impact would tell scientists a lot about what the moon was made of and what its interior structure was. Now the LSEPs weren't designed to work forever. There isn't an outlet on the moon where you can just plug it in and have it go for months or years. Each LSEP was powered by an RTG, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, the same kind of power source that is powering the Mars Curiosity rover today. To make sure that during the ALSEP's active lifetime there was an impact that could be measured, NASA smashed not only the lunar module ascent stages, but the spent S-4B stages, the stage that actually punted the Apollo spacecraft on its way to the moon, on the moon's surface at precise locations to measure the vibrations going through the moon to understand its composition. So where are they now? Well, all of those Apollo lunar module ascent stages are in pieces on the moon, with the exception of Apollo 13's. Of course, that one was brought back to Earth and burned up in the atmosphere. And like I said, Apollo 10's is in solar orbit. There is, of course, loads more to this story. If you would like to know more about the ALSEP packages and specifically about the seismic activity monitors and what NASA learned after smashing multi-million dollar spacecraft into the moon's surface, check out the latest post on my blog, Vintage Space, over at Popular Science. I've got the link for that in the description below. So does that answer your question on the mysterious fate of the ascent stages? What else do you want to know about Apollo missions or any other kind of vintage space stuff? Leave me your questions and comments and ideas for future episodes in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at AST Vintage Space for daily vintage space content. And with a new video going up every single Friday, be sure to subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.